Oxford Read and Discover, Level Three, Superstructures. Introduction. A structure is something made with many parts, like a house, a school, or a bridge. It can be made of different materials, like bricks, concrete, glass, wood, or metal. A superstructure is very big, very long, or very tall. What structures can you see here? How many parts can you see? What are the structures made of? What other structures can you think of? Discover. Now read and discover more about superstructures. Chapter One: Tunnels. Tunnels go underwater, underground, or through the ground. We use tunnels for mines, trains, and road traffic, or to carry things like gas or water. Tunnels are usually made of metal and concrete. One of the longest tunnels in the world is the Seikan Tunnel in Japan. It's nearly 54 kilometers long. It goes between two islands. It was built because it's too dangerous to travel by boat. The tunnel is for trains, but now many people prefer to travel by plane. One of the longest road tunnels is the Lærdal Tunnel in Norway. The tunnel is nearly 25 kilometers long, and it goes through a mountain. It was built. Because there's too much snow on the mountain roads in winter. Discover. In the tunnel, there are three big caves where drivers can stop and rest. Chapter two, bridges. Bridges go over water or over ground. On a beam bridge. The pillars carry the deck. One of the longest beam bridges is the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway in the USA. This bridge is about 38 kilometers long, and it has over 9,000 concrete pillars. It goes over water, and carries road traffic. On a suspension bridge. The cables and towers carry the deck. The anchorages hold the cables. Suspension bridges move a little when it's windy. This isn't usually a problem, but in 1940, the Tacoma Bridge in the USA collapsed in light winds. It was only four months old. Chapter Three: Skyscrapers. When there isn't much ground, we can build tall buildings. Very tall buildings are called skyscrapers. The first skyscraper was the Home Insurance Building. It was built in Chicago, in the USA, in 1885. It was 42 meters tall. The tallest skyscrapers are now much taller than this. The Petronas Twin Towers in Kuala Lumpur, in Malaysia, are the tallest twin buildings. There is a bridge between the two towers called a sky bridge. One of the tallest skyscrapers is the Burj Dubai. It's in Dubai. In the United Arab Emirates, it's 818 meters tall. That's nearly a kilometer. It's made of a special strong concrete 
called reinforced concrete. The Burj Dubai has apartments, shops, swimming pools, hotels, restaurants, and a library. It's like a very tall town. Do you like it? Discover. The concrete in the Burj Dubai weighs the same as about one hundred thousand elephants. Chapter Four: Dams. Some of the biggest structures are dams. They hold back water and make a lake called a reservoir. Dams supply water, stop floods, and they also make electricity. Gravity dams are made of a lot of concrete. They are very big and heavy, and this weight holds back the water. The Atayapu Dam is a gravity dam. It's in South America, between Paraguay and Brazil. It's 196 meters tall and nearly eight kilometers long. Arch dams are also made of concrete. They are usually smaller than gravity dams, and they are curved. The curve holds back the water. The Moiré Dam in Switzerland is an arch dam. It's 148 meters tall and 610 meters long. Discover. The first dam was built more than 4,000 years ago in Egypt. It never worked because it fell down in heavy rain. Chapter Five: Olympic structures. There are many superstructures in Beijing, in China. Some of them were built for the Olympics in 2008. Terminal Three of Beijing Capital International Airport is one of the biggest airport terminals in the world. The floor area is more than a square kilometer. There are seven floors, and two of the floors are underground. Discover. Red and gold are traditional colors for Chinese buildings. Red is the Chinese color for good luck. The Beijing National Stadium is one of the biggest metal buildings. It's red and gold. It has eighty thousand seats. There were eleven thousand extra seats for the Olympics. It also has underground pipes to make it warm in winter, and cool in summer. Sometimes it's called the bird's nest. Can you see why? Chapter six: Different shapes. With new building materials, people can build structures in many different shapes. The O2 in London, in the United Kingdom, is a dome. It was built for the millennium, the year 2000. The roof is made of a special plastic and glass material. It's 365 meters wide, one meter for every day of the year. It has also twelve support towers, one tower for every month of the year. In two thousand and eight, David Fisher designed the first rotating skyscraper. It uses energy from the wind. People want to build these rotating skyscrapers in Dubai and in Moscow. Discover. Each floor can rotate a full circle. People can decide when to rotate their floor. The skyscraper can be a different shape every day. Chapter Seven: Glass and Ice. 
most buildings are made of concrete, bricks, metal, or wood. Some buildings use different materials. Biosphere Two in Arizona, in the USA, is made of glass and metal. It's nearly as big as two and a half American football fields. Inside, there's a rainforest, an ocean, a desert, a farm, and places for people to live and work. It's a research center. In a village in Sweden, near the Arctic, there is a hotel made of ice called Ice Hotel. The hotel is open from December to April. It has eighty rooms. There are ice sculptures in the rooms. The beds, chairs, and tables are also made of ice. Even the drinking glasses are made of ice. Discover. Every year, Ice Hotel is built again with new ice. Chapter Eight: Amazing Places. Did you know that people also build structures under the ocean and on ice? The Poseidon Undersea Resort in Fiji is a hotel twelve meters under the ocean. It's made of very strong metal and plastic. The windows are made of special clear plastic, so people can see fish and other ocean animals from the hotel. To get to the hotel, you travel by submarine. Halley Six is a research station in the Antarctic. It's built on ice. The ice moves four hundred meters every year, and the structure moves with it. Halley Six is on skis, so people can move it back to the right place. Building in the Antarctic is very difficult, because of the very, very cold weather. Discover. In the Antarctic, the wind speed can be 150 kilometers per hour. The temperature can be less than minus 50 degrees centigrade. Chapter Nine: Structures in Space. There are also structures in space. The International Space Station (ISS) is a research station. It's about three hundred and fifty kilometers above Earth. It goes around Earth about sixteen times every day. It travels at twenty-seven thousand seven hundred kilometers per hour. That's nearly eight kilometers per second. Discover. You can see the ISS from Earth without a telescope. The ISS is made of metal. It uses energy from the sun. The first part of the ISS went into space in a rocket in 1998. No astronauts went with it. Most other parts went with astronauts. Sometimes astronauts do a spacewalk outside the ISS to attach new parts. Chapter Ten: Animal Structures. Animals can build superstructures too. Termites build their homes with mud. These homes are tall towers called termite mounds. The tallest termite mounds are about thirteen meters high. They are termite skyscrapers. Discover. Termites are insects. 
The tallest termite mounds are thousands of termites tall. Wombats build underground tunnels called burrows. They dig with their front paws and bite through things with their teeth. A wombat can dig about two meters per hour. Beavers build dams on the water to protect themselves from other wild animals like bears. They build the dams with small trees, stones, and mud. Their dams can be a kilometer long.